Bosnia and Herzegovina is a country with a troubled past. A turbulent three-year civil war following the breakup of Yugoslavia in the early 90s resulted in the biggest genocide in Europe since the Second World War. The ramifications of that war can still be felt across the nation, not least in sport. Since independence in 1992, the country is yet to medal at a Summer or Winter Olympics. Enter Maris Muhovic, the 26-year-old karate star with two European medals and victories at the US Open and the World Cup to his name. Could he be the man best placed to become the country's first ever Olympic medalist in Tokyo 2020? When I win the first medal, I put the gold on my neck. It was like dreams come true and I started to really like karate and from that moment till this day, I'm training almost 24 seven. If I am competing in Tokyo 2020, it's a big chance that I will win medal because I, I beat all the top athletes in my category. From top 10, I only didn't beat one guy, so it will be fun. Maris was always destined to pursue a career in sport. His father was a multiple Yugoslav national boxing champion, his sister a national volleyball player, and his older brother Dennis, a European medalist in karate. At the relatively late age of 12, Maris followed Dennis into karate after his father blocked them from entering boxing. Karate is like the one of the uh, combat sports that is not that dangerous. Because my father have a lot of issues from doing boxing, you know, the Perkins disease and stuff. He's a little bit shaky as he getting older. So he didn't want, he didn't want let us to accept all those punches, very hard punches. And he let us join the karate team. When he first started training, Maris was unsure whether karate was for him, but he quickly became captivated by the combativeness and dynamic nature of the sport. He has gone on to become one of karate's stars. However, a few years ago, Maris suffered a serious ACL knee injury, which made him question his motivations. He opened up a successful tattoo business whilst recovering, and almost turned his back on karate, given the lack of support he receives in Bosnia and Herzegovina. I got injured and I was thinking, I'm training karate, I'm, I'm killing myself on the trainings, I'm giving 110%, I'm sweating, I'm bleeding, I'm exhausted, and what I get in the return. I win the medal, some politicians say to me, good job, you have our moral support, not finance support. And on the other side, I was tattooing and I was making a lot of money. So should I stop doing karate and continue to work and make money and enjoy life, you know? Or should I quit all that, focus on karate? After his ACL operation, Maris partied hard and led a life unbefitting of an elite sportsman. However, he also joined a group called Team Adrenaline, with whom he went bungee jumping, cliff diving, and freestyle snowboarding. Parkour was another of the activities the group practiced, and one that Maris still sometimes uses for core stability and balance. When I was a little kid, I used to jump from the like first floor, second floor. So I started to first jumping. Then I learned a couple of flips. Then I like it the free run. So I can like run, jump and do the flip, do the twist. I always find the hard way to learn something. Never the easy way. When I first did the back flip, I almost broke my neck. But I get up, do it again. Despite his love for action sports, Maris was ultimately drawn back to karate, 
He got his body back into shape and has since won a European silver medal, making him the only sportsman in Bosnia and Herzegovina to medal at two European championships. Earlier this year, he relocated to Japan to put himself in an environment with a more established infrastructure for karate. I just wanted to chase that dream and I just had a click in my head. I stopped doing tattoos. I stopped bad life, partying, bad food, everything. I dedicated myself 110%. I decided why not, it's the motherland of karate, I love that sports, I, I, I will give all my life in that sports, so last couple of months I'm living in Japan. The 26 year old is now more motivated than ever, and with good reason. Karate will make its Olympic debut at the 2020 Tokyo Games, since Japan is both the spiritual home of karate and Maris's new training base. Winning an Olympic medal there would represent an even greater feat for the Bosnian. I mean, if I get to the Olympics, I will have a home court advantage because I live, I will live if in 2020, that will be my third year there, so. It will just dream come true. I mean, karate is trying last maybe 10 Olympic Games, so it's 40 years to get into the Olympics, but we always failed. So when this decision happened, everybody was crazy. An Olympic medal is well within Maris's grasp, given that he has beaten almost every man in the 84 kilogram category in karate. But he recognizes that he's got another two years of hard work to put in before he can even seriously think about Olympic stardom. I win medals in the gym and in the dojo, and on competition, I just go to, to grab it. So I work really, really hard. I'm the one of the guys that train, train a lot, and with all those effort, the result comes. So it's life for me. I live the karate, I, I, I enjoy karate, I enjoy every moment doing it. Uh, I enjoy traveling with karate. I mean, I travel almost whole world with, with this sports, and that sports is uh, something that helped me a lot. Thank you.